former Bushiri spiritual son, Wanismas, if you guys remember the man, them uh, is now. <laughs> Hi, the places that Wanismas is now getting invitations from. Uh, it's quite an interesting one, but not Wanismas alone. It's Wanismas and um, what's her name? Sister uh, Bushi. Um, they are. They seem to be going to perform at a, a quite an interesting event. You guys remember when Ismas when we spoke about him some time ago? He was over uh, now we, uh, singing worldly songs. Uh, it looks like singing worldly song has not just ended at singing worldly songs. Uh, him and Sister Busi, remember this lady right here who came out, blew up her album was everywhere. Uh, yeah, they seem to be going over to perform at a certain gentleman's event. Uh, I don't know if you call it that or what. What do we call it? What's going on here? And so they seem to be going over to perform at a so measy event. And so that's quite an interesting one. It's the reality show, daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time over here, do be sure. Check out the other videos that are down in the pin comments and I will see you over there. But while we are still at that, Bring it back here. Hey, we are still under operation. Yes. Still under operation. We just finished one operation here. So in case you see somebody coming behind me, y'all are letting me down in the comment section or, hey, or otherwise. Just say, hey, Ricky, watch out so that, you know, man, them is still on operation. And also got my earpiece on so that when instruction comes through, I'm able to hear it. Okay. So, Sister Busi. If you go to Sister Busi's page on thingy, you know, right there, it, it, it says, okay, let me, let, let, me put it, let me put it a little bit. Let me increase that. It says right above there, South African gospel artist. Gospel. Gospel. What does it mean to be a gospel artist? What does it mean to be a gospel musician, you know? Don't give us the redefined version. Eh? Give us the version that we all know and understand. And don't swindle it up and mix it up into something else that you probably recognize. What's a gospel musician? Hmm? What does that look like? What, what, what does a gospel musician do? They sing gospel music. So... When I saw her there, she's right there. As a matter of fact, she, her name is also on the banner there. Uh, they do say, uh, where is it? We see her there. There it is right there. So right across there, that's where her name is. And then Wanismas is all the way on the other side. There, there is Wanismas there. They are going to perform at a Somizi Songos event. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Uh, just give me a second. Give me a word. I need a second. You know, if you look at the, the, the theme of the event, put, put me up here. It's called So Mrs. Shades of Pink. Mm. It sounds like a lot, man. <laughs> sounds like a lot. Detective is not understanding. It, it sounds like a lot that's going on, but that's beside the point, right? Now, the reason why I wanted to kind of bring this particular subject up, it's after we talked about the Benjamin Dube situation. They still have thing. Now, someone might say, ah, but Ricky, that pamphlet was done way before people started canceling. Why was she there, there to begin with? <laughs> Okay, Pastor Benjamin Dube is one person that should know and understand what gospel is. He is a pastor on top of that. But for him to be still adding, Abu, she's doing exactly what Abu Tlenyu were doing when they were collaborating with, with Kelly Kuman. Who doesn't understand that Kelly Kuman is not a Christian? While we are on that point, and also Sister Busi there, okay? When your when your brand says gospel musician, when your thing says gospel artist, and you are it pink shady, you are bring authenticity there. Now, if you go 
to other parts of the world. <laughs> the biblification right here, right? If you go to the biblification, let's scroll it up here. And you look at some of the things that the Bible would tame out, will, will term out, right? For example, 1 Corinthians, what is this? Is it uh, 1 Corinthians chapter number 6, verse 11 up until 12? It says, you know, it's speaking of when we came to confession, true confession with God, right? It says, such were some of you, but you are washed. But he has sanctified, sanctified. You are set apart. You are set apart, but ye are justified in the name. There is another authority that has, that has done right by you. You were justified by another person. You are justified by another authority. And if you are justified by another authority, there is what is known as marching orders. There is what we know, yes. Is what we know as marching orders. What are the marching orders that we get from Christ? Be he holy as I am. He says, do all things unto the glory of. So, if I'm asking that question, how does pink shading bring glory? Because you are bringing authentication there. Okay. So just so just so that people are clear, why am I labeling that out in that manner? Okay, it's that you bringing authenticity there. So he says, you were justified in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of God. So whatever spirit they function under, these unbelievers, hey, you, I'm I'm backed off. I'm not there. And he go up. He says, all things are lawful unto me. Now, as a believer, you have a responsibility to the rest of the world. I will judge not, judge not, judge not. Don't fire you. <laughs> when he says, verse number 12 is very important. He says, all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. They don't benefit. Because they will misrepresent my message and so, while we are out here in operation mode, you understand? Yeah, now you understand. <laughs> I understand. Now, while we are here in operation mode on the earth, né? while we are here sent to receive instruction, I understand the earth. Yeah. <laughs> we take matching orders. What are our matching orders to be representatives of the kingdom. All things are, go back there, all things are lawful unto me, but not all things are expedient. He says, all things are lawful unto me, but I will not be brought under the power of any, because the power by which I was brought out, I can say it, it was done by the authority and justification by the name of Jesus Christ. So, I will not allow anything to take away what my, the sole authority over my head has said about me by any other thing. What the sole authority over my head has said, those are our matching orders. I am not coming to pink shade anything. Pink shading, they can pink shade over there. No business with that. But once I get bookings, from pink shading. Now, like I said, me, I don't, I am not a musician. <laughs> no, you, you tell, you know, music is hard. How are you going to make money? Hey, Andy Apple. That's your calling, right? You figure that one out. How does your calling represent the gospel? Or else you'll end up pink shading. You find out. Oh, no. You find out how does that work out. Okay? Because if you don't, you will think that we are persecuting you and your thingy. Let's go back to the verse. There is another one, actually, as a matter of fact. After 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we go to, um, to Revelations here. Now, Revelation is quite an interesting one. Revelation chapter number 2, 
you scroll down to right about verse number 18 up until verse number 20. This is what it says. Okay? His name, he says, unto the church of Tyatara, write this thing, says the Son of God. Now, he then says, the key part about this particular chapter here, it's the area of disapproval, biblical. Yeah? It's the area of disapproval. Once we step into an area of being disapproved, he says, I know thy works and charities. So if a person has any good things, yes, you have good things. He knows them. I know your charities, your service, and your faith, and thy patience, and thy works. And last, to be more than the first. Okay, so I know that, that you, you, you really do take your service work with the highest priority. He says, notwithstanding, I have these few things against you because you have suffered that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet, to teach and to seduce my servants into fornication and to eat food offered unto idols. What is going on here? You've brought someone, you've brought authentication to someone who is, who is bringing in heretical things. Bam! There's notwithstanding. I have these things that I would, that you would sort out. You're bringing people that are bringing heretical things into my camp. So while you are gospeling yourself, while you are performance, performance, be careful not to bring things within the house that are not allowed, things that are not expedient as the scripture would put it. So we stay under marching orders. Stay under marching orders. It says, I have these things against you that you've brought someone who is seducing people and taking people into other. This is an area one has to be careful about. Now we see gospel musicians. Okay? Maybe, uh, what's his name? Maybe Wanismas has dumped, has dumped it. But Busi, what about Busi? Busi, last I ended, is a gospel musician. She didn't just say she's a singer. Like she said she was a singer. And then you'll see, oh, okay, yeah, no. No wonder sometimes maybe she'll be mixing it up and going and singing R&B and singing. She states herself as a gospel musician solely. Be careful of people that you are endorsing. Who bring, for example, remember that video we made talking about Somiz and his daughter. When the daughter said, no, I don't endorse those things. I'm not for those things. The daughter was clear. And Somiz was doing a very serious job at trying to, discredit, uh, to disqualify his daughter's position on the Bible. He said, no, I was, I was doing those things of being a Christian. <laughs> you are now endorsing that. And when you are endorsing that, now someone will say, but Ricky, then what must they do? You know, they do this thing for money. Hey, I said, go and ask the master who has called you. The preacher knows what he's preaching or where he's preaching. When you see a preacher in the club, when Zanya, because already you've put yourself at a disadvantage. And so, I just wanted to bring it, this out. I thought it was in, in alignment with that other episode. And I thought it, it, would, it would go and just show. People have decided to put out their own thing. Bazalan, we have marching orders. And by marching orders, I mean we have been told what to endorse and what not to endorse. We endorse the gospel and that's our position. More than that, I don't know because you will you arise me. Once I start authenticating what I know nothing about. He says, I have one thing against you. My issue is you've brought someone 
who is endorsing something else. That's my issue with you. That's what the, the scripture says. When they started bringing in damnable heresies from outside. So when you people are pink shading yourself, the gospel musician. Oh, I saw even Kelly Kuman is there. <laughs> when worldly when you go to these worldly events and endorse those worldly events, like I said before, I am not a musician. Go and ask your master how you should conduct yourself in your ministrations. Complain that no, there isn't enough Christian events. Go and ask your master how to do your ministrations. When you now start fall under Abu Pingshati, ah, it's a lot. <laughs> 